Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL. We are here with some NBA 2K Mobile, and we got a brand new international theme. Let's jump into the official announcement. It says international themes up next, featuring many of the best from outside the USA. The first event is going to be Gauntlet, and a top reward is going to be a Chaos Diamond, Paul Gasol, Plasma Quartz Luca, a Cosmic Jasper RJ Barrett. So, Next Nation, you already know. Next week's event is going to be King of the Court. The top reward will be a Chaos Diamond Jamal Murray, Plasma Quartz Laurie Markinen, and a Cosmic Jasper Drazen Petrovic. That's going to be a bucket for sure. So the Chaos Diamond power requirement for events is 155,000 power. The Jamal Murray card also includes a staff upgrade, and there's a craftable ball bow and a Dirk the Whiskey in this theme. So let's jump right into it. Let's see what players you're going to need to grind. Now that we know the upcoming events are Gauntlet and King of the Court, those are two events where 100% style bonus will definitely help you finish faster. And this week's mini event is Power Cap. So you got a chance to get four collectibles from grinding that event. So it will help you craft some players as well. So we'll start with the point guards, right? You see the first one on the screen. It is Steve Nash. Steve Nash is craftable with nine collectibles. Tony Parker is not craftable. Luca is not craftable, but he is an event reward. So he will be the second event reward for this week. So if you can hold off on crafting a point guard, you can get Luca as your second reward, and that will help you definitely finish the grind to get the Paul Gasol. And then Jamal Murray is the event reward next week, so that will allow you to upgrade Luca. So if you do decide to stop using Luca, you can use Jamal Murray. So I know I'm going to get this question, so I'll answer for you now. Should I use Luca or should I use Jamal Murray when you unlock these rewards? Let's take a look at it, right? Looking at their stats, they both got fives and shoot off dribble, mid range shooting, three point shot, and playmaking. But Luca has a five in rebounding. That's the key difference. And compared to Jamal Murray, his five is greater than that too. Another thing that stood out for me is that Jamal Murray has a two in post scoring, while Luca has a four. So overall, Luca is the better choice. But let's be real, Jamal Murray is a bucket and he's pretty smooth to use. If you're gonna use Luca, you gotta focus on bringing up his agility because he is a bit on the slower end. But with the right build, Luca's a beast. I would still grind for Jamal Murray but this will be a card that you would have to use for anything that has a power requirement. So it will be good for grinding mini power cap because you got a really strong point guard. Uh, you can use this card to grind the Chaos Diamond tourneys, especially the one that requires you to hit a three-pointer with a Chaos Diamond player. Jamal Murray will help you be able to finish that challenge, which is important for grinding collectibles, right? If you don't know about that, I'll show you. As you can see, I've been grinding it as well. But any Chaos Diamond player, if you hit a three-point shot, you get a collectible. And you can do this up to three times. All right, so now let's go into the shooting guards. So the shooting guards, let's see which ones are event rewards. Looks like Drazen Petrovic is the event reward. Good one too, I'm telling you, I don't sleep. So Buddy Hill is the shooting guard that's craftable, one collectible, he has gear master. So he has value later on as well. We got Barbosa who is craftable, three collectibles. He has clutch time ability. Clutch time gets a power boost on a specific day of the week. Mono Ginobili is in there as well. He's not craftable. Shea is not craftable. Drajan Petrovic is their event reward, and it is a really good card. And he is the first reward next week. So if you don't want to craft a shooting guard and wait until next week, you can use Drajan Petrovic. But if you do want to craft one, it would make sense to craft Buddy Hill, since he's only one collectible and he's a gear master player. Or if you're trying to finish the set for the Jamal Murray, then you would have to craft Barbosa. So it's up to you. And for those of you wondering right here, the set player is Jamal Murray. And like I said a few moments ago, Jamar Murray's a set player. You got to craft Dirk. You got to craft Bobo. You got to craft Batum, and Steve Nash, and Barbosa. Now for small forwards, we got a Bogdanovich, who's also a gear master, but he's not craftable. We got a Tony Kukoc with the clutch time ability. We got Nicholas Batum, which we just saw is one of the set players for the Jamal Murray. He is craftable. And then we got RJ Barrett, who is an event reward. RJ Barrett is the first reward that you get from this week's gauntlet. So that will be the small forward you're going to use. And unless you're going for the sets, you don't need to craft the two. Many you decide what players you're going to craft going into the gauntlet. Use those free doublers that you get from the store. I think you get two of them for free. You can get to the first reward very easily, right? With the first six energy that you get, make sure you win the games and you'll be able to unlock that first reward pretty quick. If you don't think you're going to be able to finish the event, at least grind for the first reward. This is a tip that helps players get power increases faster because the theme cards are higher than those foundation cards from attorneys. RJ Barrett is 143,000 power, so it definitely will boost you up and help you get closer to Chaos Diamond. Power forward, there's a lot of them in this theme. 
We got Christos Brazingas, which is a really good card. Pascal Siakam, who is craftable. We got Demonte Sabonis. Now, it would have been cool to see his dad in his team as well. That would have been a nice duel for sure. Father, son, power forward, center. And they're both pretty good. We got a Laurie Marketing. Don't sleep on Laurie Marketing. When I was playing my second account early in the year, this card carried me for sure. And then we got Dirk Nowitzki. You can't have an international team without Dirk. And he is craftable as well. Laurie Marketing is the event reward for next week. So if you're not able to craft a power forward for Gauntlet, at least you know that you'll get Laurie Marketing as a second reward at King of the Court, which is possible to get that reward. Now for census, we got Nikola Vucevic, Nikola Jokic, which is nice to see, right? Especially since there's two meta cards for Jokic right now. You got the Plasma Quartz one and the Cosmic Jasper. So for those of you who didn't get that card, you still can get a really good player at a decent power, 124K definitely be raised up and help you get to those higher tiers for tourneys ball ball is craftable this card is incredible his year the rabbit card definitely one of the best cards that dropped this year for the center position so now to have a cosmic jasper it's going to be pretty insane we got paul gasol who is craftable and then joel and b is in this team as well so paul gasol is the final event reward this week so if you finish this event you will get the chaos diamond paul gasol which will definitely help you finish the King of the Court event. Cosmic Jasper, RJ Barrett, Knicks Nation. So you know I'm hype about that. He's got a five and three point shot and a five in agility. So you do got to bring up his layups, dunks, his mid range, and his defending. And probably playmaking if you could. We got a Drazen Petrovic. Now this is a sick card. This is going to be an underrated card. Do not sleep on it. He's got a five and shoot off dribble, mid range shooting, three point shot. So you got to bring up layups and dunks, which I'm still surprised is a three. I really think this should have been higher. His playmaking can go up, his defending, and his agility. We got a Plasma Quartz Laurie Markkinen. I think he's a really good power forward in this game as well. He has a five and mid-range shooting, three-point shot. But it's very important, right? He can score. But you got to bring up his defending. You got to bring up his rebounding. His playmaking and his agility. Luka has a five and a lot of stats, right? He's one of the best overall players in the game. Shoot or dribble, mid-range, three-point shot, rebounding, and playmaking. But you got to boost up his defending, agility, and layup stunts. Chaos Diamond, Jamal Murray. He's got a five-inch shoot-off dribble, mid-range shooting, three-point shot. Playmaking, you got to boost up his layups and dunks, and his defending, and his agility. Chaos Diamond, Paul Gasol. He is craftable. Underrated center for sure. Very smooth gameplay. Five in mid-range, and it's very effective. Post scoring, strength, rebounding. You got to boost up his defending, playmaking, agility and layups and dunks all right so now that we broke down the event rewards the set team building strategy i'll give you some thoughts about this theme right because i do get questions a lot and trust me i try to answer as many as i can but i'm also not going to feed into the fire either right that's not what i do so this thing definitely has some fan favorites that's always a plus and i know it's going to be received much better than last week's intimidators theme even though that theme did have some gems but this one here is more stacked for sure especially since there's a Giannis, right Giannis is one of the best players inside this game the jamal murray looks like he's going to be pretty fun to use the, the luka is going to be incredible now i know some of y'all might be wondering why there is no yao ming i think the reality is that he was in last week's team he was also the course i fast player so was tim duncan so it kind of makes sense for them not to bring them back again so soon and hakeem olajuwon recently was in triple doubles it, it definitely would have been great to see him again but i can't see another version of hakeem olajuwon being better than that card that we already had so it is what it is, right? So as always, I appreciate the support. I will catch everybody in the next video. Peace out.